Hello everyone, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and today we are going to continue our journey along this wonderful little classic JRPG. When last we left off, we were climbing, well, a certain deadly mountain in our, well, an attempt really, to hopefully resurrect Chrono. Now, I learned much to my dismay that there are spawns of Lavos here! Was that... Was that trying to be a jump scare? Ooh. Now here's a question. I'll get back to the point in a second. Do these... Do you just not get these sides if you don't get Magus? Or do you get them and is that kind of supposed to be your idea that you did something wrong and didn't get him? I'm very curious. Um, anyway, we discovered that the spawn of Lavos is a thing that exists, and we had to fight one here at the... well, in the mountain, I guess you could say. And it was awful. It was terrible. It absolutely wrecked us the first time around, because I didn't... Oh, no! There's another one! Oh, God, okay. Well... What I was going to say was that I didn't realize that it had a counterattack that it used on your whole party and did like half their health if you dared to hit its body for some reason. But hitting it in the face didn't trigger the counterattack. So I'm going to hope that that pattern holds true here because otherwise I'll... Oh. Okay, well. I wanted to switch my character first, but... Yeah, this attack. That attack sucks. Hit it in the face! And then heal. And... Attack. And heal. Okay. Let me fix everyone's HP here real quick. It seems like he doesn't use that attack very often if you don't hit the body, so we should be okay for the most part. The main thing I'm worried about is it, like, using confusion or something on me, and then my character's in their confusion hitting the body. Or, you know, putting us to sleep. Alright, he didn't- the froggy boy didn't go to sleep, that's good. Realistically, our basic attacks seem to be doing the job for the most part. We'll have to use a couple of heals here to get everyone back up to pull, but that's fine. I love that Magus' battle pose is just him ominously pulling his glove onto his hand. <laughs> like, what, what are you trying to prove here, Magus? You dumb nerd. Yes, anyway, we're climbing Death Peak, and these Lavos spawn exist, and it's terrifying. Because I just, the implications of Lavos having spawned is just awful. Um, hey, there we go. Good job. But so long as you don't attack the bodies, it actually isn't too bad. Ooh! Frog squash? Okay, first of all. Bomb enemies within a circle. I dig it. Hit all foes, damage higher when HP is low. Ooh, a desperation attack. I like it, I like it. I'm wondering... <sighs> My main concern with this is it seems like we've run into more and more enemies that when you use an attack that hits everything, immediately counterattack the ever-loving crap out of you. And if you're incentivized to use this when you're low HP because it does more damage, I feel like you're just guaranteeing your own death if it doesn't kill the enemy. So, like, I guess I can see its value as a kind of, like, all-or-nothing, death-or-glory type attack, but that's, that's risky. Oh. We found one of our little friends. Oh. Wait. 
I don't understand. I tried to go up to talk to him and it knocked us down. What? I... wait. There appears to be something wrong with my controller. It keeps shifting me to the left for no apparent reason. Ah, stop. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to grit my teeth and bear it for the rest of this episode because I do have another controller I can switch to. I just don't want to have to do it in mid-episode. Um, so we will just deal with it for a hot second. And then for next episode, I'll have the controller switched out because that's annoying. All right, careful now. Nope, 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 not that way. There we go. Footing here is icy and slick. Be careful. Fall and you'll have to start over. So what you're telling me is that we walk. Easy enough. Uh... Aha! The Yaksha Blade. Ooh. I get the distinct feeling that that's going to be a new weapon. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a new weapon for Chrono. Interesting. Uh-oh. Ow, ow, ow. The Counter Attack of Doom. Very good. There appears to be more than one stacked up there. That's terrifying. Good job, team. We didn't kill it. Oh, God. I looked down to eat a peanut, and it wasn't dead. Okay. Peanut consumed. Go, 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 go. Ah, this is how we get over here. Okay. I was wondering about this. Hello, friend. Push the shell, climb the shell. E excuse me? Wait. Aha! Well, I guess we can save here, but that wasn't my original goal. No, I... I just want to open the treasure chest. I just want the chest. There we go. A dark helm. Very nice. Didn't Nagus already have one of those when we got him? No, he had a doom helm. I like the idea of Cyrus, the mythical frog hero, being resistant to dark damage. Oh, we got another lava spawn. Okay. Well, we'll have this happen, and then we're just gonna do a preemptive double cure here. Just, just, just deal with this problem head on. So the goal here is to get to the top of the mountain and successfully resurrect Chrono using the Chrono doll that we got from the cheapskate magician back at the uh, Millennium Festival. Now what that's actually going to entail, I'm unsure of, because last we knew, Lavos itself was using the peak of the mountain as some sort of like a nest. And the implications of that are terrifying, especially seeing as how we're now finding its spawn. Which I really don't like. Not a fan. I mentioned this last episode as well, but I was under the impression that Lavos was some kind of weird battle station, like some sort of artificial entity based on the way it looks. But these things are all too biological. Alright, this is exactly what I was worried about. We're just gonna get that double cure going. Very good. Yeah, um, Lavos itself, not the spawn, the spawn looked more biological, but Lavos itself almost has a techno-organic look that reminds me of, like, the xenomorphs from Alien, or even some of the creatures from Metroid. Cyrus, you can't be asleep, that's not allowed. Never mind, you can sleep all you want, it's dead. But its body didn't disappear? Wait, what? Wait. Ah. Uh... 
push the shell, climb the shell. I see. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. A memory cap. Ooh. Prevents... Oh! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going right on Magus. So, lock, I remember... Oh, I don't think I want to go up here yet. Um, lock is... An ability that could be used on you. Oh, is there just nothing up here? Fair enough. Um, locks an ability that can be used on you that prevents you from using any techs. It happened to us a few times when we were on um, Dalton's ship. And it also happened to us a few times when we were fighting enemies that were really hard to kill. This looks distinctly like it's going to be a peak and I'm... Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. Okay. Here we go. Man up. Let's go. This is it. The Summit of Death Peak. You who fear the night and stand against the darkness, please give us your strength. Chrono! The pendant's reacting! Okay. Maybe? It... it shattered! But... we've come so far! Do not despair. It was foolish to think we could cheat death. Please, answer me! Don't leave me! Chrono! Uh-oh. Did we piss off the gods? Uh... Oh? Oh! Oh! It actually... Are these the people that... I had here too? No, that's awesome. A time freeze. I never dreamt it possible. Like stone statues. An unsettling sight. Chrono! Oh, he reacts to Shala. It was all for naught. We changed nothing. We just need to exchange the Doppeldoll for Chrono. Oh? Really? Like we swap him in time? That's interesting. Chrono? It's Chrono! Chrono, you're alive! I'd remain here no longer than we must. Let us be gone. Save the tearful reunions for later. If we've done all we must, let us be on our way. I love that he has lines. Like, that's so cool. Maybe? Chrono! Oh, Chrono, you're back! No worse for the way, I trust. Holy shit, we did it. Huh. I didn't expect that to work. We... We were all waiting for you to come back.
Oh. You can't... Don't ever leave us like that again! A lot of things happened, Chrono. While you were away. First we... And then... And after that I... So we... But... Chrono! Are you even listening? There's so much I still have to tell you! Oh, holy crap, guys, we did it. Wow! Ha! So all went well. No, don't thank me. I merely placed a piece upon the board. It was not my hand that moved it. If you would thank someone, thank the ones who cared enough to see their friend return to them. By the way, the wings of time have come looking for you. They seem to have a heart and mind all their own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket, or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the Black Omen, which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly. Lusting so greedily after power that the power wields you. It is up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, albeit vague, of events, people, and places that will empower you. A forest brought back to life by the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. The fortress of one of Magus's three former generals in the Middle Ages. A task to be done in the future, in a birthplace of machines. A prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of all the ages of the world. The restless spirit of a proud knight. Slain by Magus in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Seems like everything exists in the Middle Ages here for the most part. Speak to your companions. Some among you may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives throughout the ages. Let their strength become your own. For only then can you hope to defeat the enemy you face. Such is the power required, should you wish to change the future. I will remain here, and bear witness to the world's fate. Well, alright. Uh, someone in the comments had mentioned that once we do the quest to save Chrono, Balthazar would give us some hints as to what we should be doing next. Will you take Chrono? Absolutely we'll take Chrono. Let's go, my boy! Let's go with the dream team here. Alright. I'm gonna give this a save. Alright, so... I think this is where I'm going to call it for this one. I know it's gonna be a little short, but... This feels like a good place to stop for now because we have the gang back together. Actually, wait, you know what? Before I forget, let's check if that sword's for Chrono. Actually, we got a bunch of swords for Chrono. Okay. Okay, okay, we have two. In fact, we only have one. The choice is obvious. <laughs> Swallow, where did that come from? I don't recall where we got this from, but it's clearly better than the uh, Yaksha Blade, so fair enough. Okay. Okay, so we've got Chrono back, we've got the gang back together, and apparently we have a few different paths that we can take. Now I'm guessing, because it has been told to me that you can actually beat Lavos at any point during the story if you know what to do. 
So I'm guessing the proper thing to do isn't to just jump into the bucket and go fight him during the apocalypse. Like, that just doesn't make sense. What I'm guessing we should do is we should go to each of the different characters' subplots. Do all of them. Make sure that they're all completed, get whatever we can from them. Um, I want to see what was up with that, like, Guardian of the Sun Temple or whatever that we found, too, that reminded me of the Ancestor from... or the Ancient One from Golden Sun, because that was weird and interesting. Do all of those, then go to the Black Omen and see what we can do there. Maybe that will involve the end of the game. Maybe after we do all that, we still have to go to the time of the Cataclysm and kill Lavos there. I don't know. So I guess right now the question would be, what side quest should we do first? We've unlocked a few, or we've discovered a few. We know of the one involving our Cyrus putting to rest the soul of Cyrus. And we know of the one involving Robo during his time. That we actually kind of started already. Beyond that, I'm not 100% sure. The forest one, I at least have an inkling of where to go, but I'm not entirely sure how to start it. So, what do you guys think? Is there a particular order that we should follow? Should we go and finish one of the ones that we already started? Or is there one of the other ones that might be better to start with? Let me know. I wouldn't really consider it spoilers, because we're going to do them all anyway, but if there's a particular order that you want to see them done in, or that I should do them in, then that's what I want to do. For now, though, with this victorious music playing in the background, that is all the time that we have for this episode. Uh, if you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who's been keeping up with the series, commenting, giving advice, all that type of stuff. Um, if you do have any comments, or questions, or critiques, or anything like that, put it in the comments. I do my best to keep up with them. They give me something to read when I'm at work. Put a smile on my face, so I really appreciate them. And if you want to do the normal YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share with a friend, anything like that, that's awesome, but don't feel like you have to. As long as you're enjoying the series along with me, that's perfectly fine. For now, though, I wish you all a good night, and remember, be good to each other. Bye bye